police, the security agencies mm -hmm. are supposed to be custodians and guidance of our constitution. Where there are issues of constitutional disparity, mm -hmm. it is expected of them to always refer back to the Nigerian constitution. But what we are seeing in River State, like after the tenor of the outgoing local government chairman, the governor, governor sent in names to the assembly for caretaker and they have been approved and subsequently sworn in. And today, those other people that the attendant have elapsed said that they will not vacate the local government secretary for these new persons. And instead of the police to work with the state governor to give security support and everything to the caretaker governor, uh, local government chairman that the governor has sworn in, mm. have gone to barricade all the local government secretaries. Right. Saying, saying no, mm -hmm. saying that until a competent law, a competent court, give judgment mm. of the issues mm. that has to do with the kangaroo local government tenor amendment that the state house of assembly did and the 1999 constitution as amended that we are being guided by in nigeria it's uncalled for you see the problem we have been having in nigeria mm. in as much as we have this national democracy mm. it is expected of the security to be always unbiased taking directives from the power from above by security agencies has not been helpful well, in, to, in, our, in, to our democracy. In all, no. in all fairness, the security apparatus might say to you that they are trying to make sure that anything that comes up and the next move will be something that is binding legally. So I'm, I'm, that's what we're that going to start is, our no, next discussion. No, that is what I'm saying. Mm. Anything that is binding legally is the 1999 constitution. Mm. And anything outside that is an aberration. Well, a court can also ask so you. That that no, let me ask you now. Is it not telling me that the River State House of Assembly has the power? to decide the tenor of a commissioner of police that is supposed to reverse it. No. So if that is not possible, because it is constitutional and duty bound mm -hmm. by the IG of police to post and repost, it is also duty bound by the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria that the tenor of local government chairman is three years. Mm. And that is sacrosanct. The tenor of the local government chairman has elapsed. Mm. Caretaker has been inaugurated that stands the second issue that is of contest today is the legitimacy or the, the legality of the 25 assembly members that decamped from pdp to apc that is the only issue that is before the court and anything outside that has nothing to do with what is happening today so Number one, the question we are asking is, the assembly members, you are representing not just yourself, but your constituents. The position you are taking, is it to the benefit of your constituents? Hmm. If no, can't you seek redress? Because in as much as you are the people's servants, your number one priority should be directed towards the interests of your people hmm. and not just about yourself. Today, the governor of River State has told the world that he's a symbol of democracy. He has told the world that he's a defender of democracy. And River's people have told the world they are going to defend our national democracy by any means necessary. What we want is that Mr. President, being the political leader of our nation, should intervene Call his appointee, the minister of FCT, to order. Because as an Asian man, I wouldn't want River State engulfed into serious crisis that will affect the peace that we are enjoying in the entire Niger Delta. Mm. Yes, it is going to affect even the tenure of Mr. President as president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. So he should call his minister to order, give the governor the chance that was given to him when he was governor in River State to pilot the affairs so that the people of River State can have the dividends of democracy. So that the people of River State can benefit the reason why they voted 
the him governor sim fobra into power mm. distracting him is anti-democracy is anti-development to the people of river state the governor in several forums has told the world that peace is golden and if there is any need to give peace a chance that is willing are those people those few group of people that are against him ready for peace ready for dialogue the question their the, the answer has always been no because what they want is how they can satisfy the egos of their paymaster and that is anti-people as the president of the highest largest youth organization of the niger delta we have reached out to various youth president youth blocks youth organization and we have always peace preach peace to them to the path of peace that is the only way we as youth we can benefit